Hello guys, welcome back. This is the start of Coastal Combat. The next round. I have got the car packed. I'm taking the family out with me as well. We are on our way to Devon to go and see Wayne, the blind angler. He's, uh, he's taken us in for a few nights. We're going to get ready. We are going to be fishing Chesil Beach against the fish hunter and his good mate Sam B. So, let's go. I'm well pumped for this. Guys, I made it to Devon. Um, got some kip. Now it's five o'clock in the morning, and we're off bait digging. We are. We are. Uh, we're going to be driving to Cornwall for this. I'm not going to tell you exactly where the mark is. Some of you might know. Some of you might not. Um, we're going to bait. Uh, we're going to bait some. <laughs> we're going to dig some bait uh, with Ed, the bait guy. Now I'll put the description in the, in the video about more information about Ed's baits. Um, awesome guy. Can't wait to get going. See what he does. Um, so yeah, we're going to get the bait for Coastal Combat. Let's crack on. Let's do it, man. So um, we are on our way to meet to meet Ed, as Joe said earlier, and uh, Joe has just said that we are in our first hour of six of driving today. Um, we went down to Cornwall, where we're flipping the car around, back to Plymouth, we must fry up, people packing the car up, and come up to Chazo to meet uh, Sam and Reese. Coastal combat. Oh. We're gonna smash them, mate. How are you feeling though, Joe? I'm buzzing mate. This is like the first, well we're nearly into our second hour of our 21 hours stint. Maybe 22 hours, we're up for a long time. Today is a lonely day. Yeah. Um, but I'm buzzing, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Got a lot of things planned today. A lot of things planned, yeah. So uh, we're with Ed now and um, we're gonna we're gonna go do some um, bait collecting. Hopefully I have something special for you. And um, yeah, but it's just started raining. Let's get our coats on. Right guys, so we are out collecting bait and uh, that light that you can see out there coming back at us, that's Ed. And um, Ed is um, allowed to net the river. So he's out now netting sandals, live sandals. So um, 
we got, some, eh? Let's hope we get some. Here's Joe. And uh, Joe is just, uh, I'm hoping my cameraman skills are okay. Uh, it's raining at the moment. Um, Joe's just holding on to the net. And then he's going to wade out to where Ed is. Or um, out a few meters. And then Ed's going to go around in the big arch. And see if we can uh, get some live sound view. can see but it's absolutely beautiful the sun is just coming up over there somewhere well it will be all right guys so joe's been digging and he's got his first lugworm there we go lugworm hopefully many, plenty more to get this is one of many lovely we'll crack on good man all right guys so uh yeah so joe here has has given up digging <laughs> with his, with, after his one worm and I've, I've I've done about five digs and had about seven eight worms but we've just caught or I've just dug uh, a little bit there just there a little sand deal a tiny little thing so uh, yeah we're gonna carry on digging well I'm gonna carry on digging Joe's gonna <laughs> do what Joe does best start watching everybody else work one more how are you finding digging, Wayne? Alright. Yeah. Alright? Yeah, not a problem. Not a problem. We go again. Not bad so far. 15 minutes in, maybe 20 minutes in. Still got a lot, lot to go. So, uh. I didn't know where to put this location in the video. As you can see, guys, the sun is, sun is coming up nicely. It's about 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, Ed and Joe still hard at work digging some lug. So uh, we've got um, we've got some some lug already for our bait, and uh, we're going to carry on. But, uh, beautiful. Um, yeah. So uh, carry on digging and uh, see how we get on but it is a beautiful morning from the weather that we've just had let's hope it stays like this that's for sure
right, so that's it. We've got our bait. A lot of bait, actually. Um, it was it was amazing. Learn a lot from Ed. Yeah. Big Ed, shout out to yeah. Ed. Big Ed shout out to Ed's bait. He's a, he's a top, top guy and his knowledge is brilliant, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, I've been digging before, but I learned a lot more today. Uh, we found loads of stuff. Uh, we found lugworm, ragworm, white rag, cockles. Did we? Found loads of cockles. Did we find the cockles? Did yeah, we? we don't get that in Essex. <laughs> That were very rarely in Essex, and we're famous yeah. for cockles. But yeah, loads of cockles, sand eels. Yeah. What, what was the big sand eel? A lance. A lance. So yeah, found lance as well. So yeah, all in all, fantastic. Really good fun. Was watching, so, watching the sun come up as we were out on the sandbank. Yeah, digging. Gentle weather, gentle winds, gentle water. It's just brilliant morning. Well, well worth getting up at four. Like we went to bed about midnight. Yeah, got up at four o'clock cup of tea and a coffee and we're on our way down to meet Ed uh, from Ed's Bait as I said and just great atmosphere like I'm buzzing okay. just yeah. absolutely buzzing after that that was just awesome and I really can't wait to do that again with uh, with Ed and that because yeah, he's, he's a top boy he's a top man definitely we'll be doing that again soon yeah so we're all baited up we got our worm we are everything's in the car we're just going to go home quickly get a bite to eat and then we're on our way several Chesil. cups of coffee yeah, we need a few more coffees, yeah. Yeah. Um, on our way to Chesil to meet Fish Hunter Reese and his good old crusty sock friend Sam B. Yeah. They're going down. They're going down. No so, messing. Let's go. Let's do this. We are on our way to Chesil Beach. Woohoo! I will tell you where we're going because this is going on the video and you know, you'll find out afterwards. We're going to Abbotsbury today and we're going to a mark near Abbotsbury, that's all I'm saying. Yep. Um, the fish hunter, Reese, and his good old friend Sam B are already there. Uh, they're, they're there early, they're getting a head start. <laughs> someone's got a heavy foot. Yeah, someone's got a heavy <laughs> foot. Obviously we're coming in, in completely different directions and we're meeting in the middle. So, uh, we've got our bait, as you can see the car is packed full. We are ready. Any, uh, any last words? Wayne, before we uh, we go to battle with these two numb nuts. <laughs> Basically, as I've always said, may the may the best man win, may the best team win. Um, hopefully, that's us on the night. Yeah, yeah. Our, our coastal combat t-shirts. Coastal combat t-shirts. We're ready. We're pumped up, and um, you know, I'm, it's it's just going to be a great night. Win, lose, or draw, it is going to be a great night, and um, we're going to have a lot of fun with these guys. And um, I, I just can't wait to um, get going. I hope we get up the mark early. Hopefully, what is your strategy? Obviously, we can say all we want now because <coughs> yeah. this is going to be a video and it's coming out afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my strategy basically, I'm going to cast one out as far as I can. Yeah, poly panel rig, uh, probably with blood squid wrap. Um, after the big storm, this time of year, good chance of a cod. Um, but then anything will take that, to be fair. Yeah. Um, and then in close, I'm going to dink one in close with a two hook flapper, one up, one down. Um, I'm going to have one, the top one will have floating beads on, a uh, lug worm tip with a bit of squid, and the bottom one. I mean, we do have some maddies, so I'm tempted to maybe try a maddie. Um, we've got a sand deal, so I might go for some fresh sand deals. That we got from Ed from Ed's bait. So a yeah. massive shout out to Ed. We helped us out massively this morning. So I'm gonna have one in close scratching, mm -hmm. one out far. We have got peelers as well. We do have some peeler crabs. Yes, we do. Um, what about okay. you? Yeah, uh, well my, my my aim as it stands is um get as many fish as possible. Little fish, as many a fish as a point. Yeah. So, as it stands, for the first couple of hours, I want to get as many fish as I possibly can. And I know, is it is it is it three or four hooks? It's uh, it's three hooks. Three hooks, so I'll go yeah. with the two hook flapper. Yeah. One, probably 50, 60 yards, and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go for a pulley panel or something. Yeah. Again, this is new ground for me. You yeah. fish there, Reese has fished there. Myself and Sam B on the other side haven't fished there. So, again, this is a new place for me. I'm still, Quietly confident. Um, I've done a bit of research, um, but my first goal for the first two hours is to get as many fish as possible, get our score up, 
and then have some fun and maybe go for some big boys. I would like um, a small large ray. I know I can get yeah. that in there. Angela Ray come in. Angela Ray. I mean, yeah. I haven't caught them before. Place, obviously I got one the other week, which was really small, but I would like to get a decent sized place as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, Gernard, love to catch those. They are so beautiful fish. Yes. Um, and yeah. obviously with this lionfish coming out as well at the moment, we need to be careful of that. The, uh, with this invasive species, we need to be careful of this. So that, that's my goal as it stands. For the first two hours, get as many fish as possible, get up on the scoreboard, start winning, yeah. and then I would like to go for that really big cod. Yeah, double figure fish count for two points. Um, yeah. So that's, that's cool. I haven't heard of many whiting coming in, um, but you know we're gonna be fishing for like an hour, an hour and 15 minutes before we get into darkness. Yeah. Um, so you never know what will happen. Uh, now yesterday was a big storm, big winds, big sea. Um, so when it comes to casting, you don't go down to the water because Chesil can be quite naughty. So um, you know we're going to be casting from the from the, the, the top of our step. And um, when it comes to returning fish, go down together, work as a team. Don't take any unnecessary risks. So um, that all said, hopefully, touch wood, we'll be on it. Indeed. Right, so we've got about another hour of travelling. We're gonna get I there. I have a question. Go on. Right, who would you like to outfish the most tonight? Sam or Reese? <laughs> Both of them, I, including yourself. Oh, oh I see. Oh, okay. Still like to outfish. Still, still come, come back. <laughs> there is still a bit of rivalry between us. <laughs> yeah. um, but I would like to outfish all three of you. It's on, baby. Yourself? <laughs> I, I was just like, looking for... Sam and I have had quite a bit of banter on the build-up to this. Yeah. Um, so I would like to meet Sam. Um, but uh, now you've said that... Sorry, <laughs> gloves are off. <laughs> Bring it on. Right, I can't wait for this. This is going to be a, an epic session. Straight after a storm. The conditions are like 9 mile an hour winds max. Beautiful um, sunny weather. It's going to be a lovely evening. Yeah. Nice and calm, so hopefully it's going to produce something really, really decent tonight. We've got about an hour left of the journey. See you at Chesil, guys. One nil. It's one nil. Sorry for the camera. There you go. There we go. Happy days. Get back. I ain't gonna tell what it's on though. I ain't gonna tell what it's on. Do you want a rack? Do you want a rack? Are you caught on me? No. Is it 2 0? Yeah, there you go, guys. Nice strap, Gongreel. 2 0. Joe is a rag, mate. 
guys. First hatch conger reel that is for me. So we don't get these in Essex, so that's my first. Happy days. Hello guys, so just going through. I just caught the strap conger. I don't know if you can see that. That is what he's done to my two hook flapper rig. So, got another one here. You can't really see it very well. That's just at it. I ain't got time to unwrap that. We are currently 2 0 up. Let's keep it going. Well, I didn't get it. Wayne got it. There you go. <laughs> Wayne got it. It's still a point. It's still a point. That's 3 0. It's still a point. It's a whiting, if anybody wanted to know. Yeah, I'll get it back. Hopefully, it'll grow a bit bigger. Well, it is worrying when he walks down there, though, Joe, in all seriousness. It's not that he just done a went to stop walking, does he? One of them waves gets him, that is. Does he? Yeah. We'll keep an eye on this fish on the line. Happening, guys. I don't know how many of you ever watched my channel, but um, you'll all know how much I love a dogfish. My favourite fish to catch, isn't it, Wayne? It is, mate. My favourite fish. Whiting. My favourite. Oh, whiting, I just love I'll go mad for a whiting, me. Um, but yeah, 3 1, so we'll take it. Well done, man. Well done. <laughs> Game on. But uh, I don't think the camera couldn't have seen it and you guys wouldn't have heard it, but the waves are a long way out now. And uh, Reese came over, fish hunter came over and showed you his dogfish. Big well done to him. Uh, but he went down and released it. Now, when he was down there, he noticed that there was a, a bit of li uh, weed on my line. And he shouted over, saying, like, you know, ignore your rod. I'm going to just quickly get the weed off. And he did. Massive Talking help. Talking to yourself is the first sign of madness. <laughs> and fishing with you. <laughs> it's, the, it's the second sign. Oh, wow, that was a cheap shot. Oh, it was, wasn't it, eh? It was a right cheap shot. <laughs> Been there. Guys, he didn't have to do that. Do you know what I mean? He, but he did. And he's been a massive help. Earlier, earlier on, I was sorting out one rod. I had a little slack on the other one. He wound, he wound in the slack for me. It's been a great help. You know, massive help. So, massive shout out to Reese. And uh, as always, you know, Joe is Joe. Helped me with everything tonight, it's Joe. And uh... Don't claim it, Sam. Right. Don't claim it, mate. That dogfish that Reese caught is still on the beach. Doesn't seem to want to go. <coughs> Guys, because it is such dangerous conditions today, when it comes to fishing tether, it is a dangerous mark. So when I say to Joe now, that if he minds coming to spot me, he means you know, he guides me down, tells me when to stop and where to cast from, so that uh, he can keep an eye on the waves and I'm always safe. Yeah. So, Joe, when you're ready, buddy. No, mate, you can go do it yourself. All right, <laughs> All right guys, currently we are 4 1 up. This is what I've got on now. Pulley panel rig. Give it a torch on there. There we go. Whole squid. About three lugworm. I'm going for a cod now. We're full one up. It's an hour and a half to go. I want a cod. So let's get that out of there. Let's get it. Oh, Sam B's got a white in. No, mate. No. Making it interesting. There you go. That is beautiful. That is a game changer, that fish. Four free mate, it's made this at next hour. Oh no. Really interesting. It's done into a competition again. Yeah mate. I want to catch a white in now. I want to see the catch a white in now as well. Yeah, I want <laughs> Sam's actually, I want Sam's actually to do something. What was the point of me bringing in? <laughs> if they do get one, I have a feeling they're going to get two in the next half hour mate. I ain't going to lie. Don't really want to fish in a dress. With makeup. Yeah, on. I was only joking about that, by the way. High heels. Yeah, the, the fishing gods are like, right, you want Joe in a dress? He's going to be in a dress. Move. Yeah, I'm not going to. There. I don't want to do it. Coming out, fishing with Reese and Sam for the first time. 
Joe was busy, we're in a competition, it's close, and uh, Reese stood up there and spotted me down to make sure that I was safe in, in casting. Do you know what I mean? He didn't have to do that, he couldn't walk back to his world, but he did. Mm -hmm. Just goes to show the friends that you can make, the fun you can have, everybody looking out for each other in the, in the, in the fishing community. Yeah, um, I am. Yeah, we can't have them catch us with a dogfish and whiting. Yeah, I did that to you in Coastal Combat One. You can't do it again. Do you know what I mean? Did I bring back bad memories? I'm sorry. I was just about to say, like, do you have a key? Do I have a key? Yeah. Wait, the key is caught. Right, so this is three out of four. I'll come behind the camera and then I'll show you from the side view. There you go. These are the whiting that have been caught. These three little fish, yeah, have added points to it. The only one that hasn't gone into it is Sam B's. I think he threw his back. So yeah, these three little whiting have got three points on the board. Can't lose this now. We can't lose. We'll get something good at least. Right? What is no, it? It's not really. Not very good. Yeah, yeah, what rig is it? Uh, Billy. Yeah, no. Oh, that's not another one. Is no, it? no, same one. Here we go, guys. Just for the live. Four all. Eight, Eighteen minutes to catch one more. I've got to go. In a bit. Go 
our fish, full us. That finishes seven four. We win, man. Now you gotta go and see Reese and Sam on a live wearing a dress. Awesome. Get in. Hello, Hello boys. Stay it easy. Who are ya? Who are ya? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, what a night. What a 24 hours, mate. Oh, mate. We've been up for now 22 hours nearly. Yeah. Um, and we have a two hour drive home. Yeah. Um, again, coastal combat. Rules. Yeah, rules, <laughs> mate. That's four wins out of four for me. Well, yes. But on the way up, you were like aiming to meet me. Yep. You did say it, and I just had a fun. I had a funny. Oh, meeting. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's true. Actually, yes, that is true. Yeah. So. Uh, you did beat me on number of fish. I did. But you didn't beat me on the the total weight of the fish. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Uh, it's irrelevant. Uh, it's irrelevant. Okay. <laughs> it's fine. You didn't even know you had them on. Oh, I did. oh, those last ones I definitely did. Because you, because you went, Wayne, you got a fish, and I went, yes, and the penny dropped. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, at the end of the day, oh, a night out. That's cool. Um, at the end of the day, Reese, the fish hunter, yeah, and Sam B have suffered defeat and admitted defeat, which means that they now have forfeit of wear, dressing up as a woman live. Make up high heels, address the lot. Uh, so we'll definitely be watching that. Guys, I want to say a huge thank you as well to obviously Reese, yeah. the Fish Hunter UK, and his good friend Sam B. Uh, for you know, for what, what they did. Coming coming to Coastal Combat, coming to Chesil, facing us, being a great laugh, absolute banger. Yeah. Loved every minute of it. Absolute and um, gentlemen. Yeah, absolutely gentlemen. Very helpful. Superb. He yeah. gave hints every now and again, didn't he? Gave us, yeah, ho helpful hints. And yeah. Looked after me when, you know, when I had to go down and Yeah, when I was busy, he helped yeah. you out and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Really, really top, t top bunch of lads. Yeah. Um, hopefully this is the start of something really, really good hopefully between us. So, yeah. Yeah, that's it really. Coastal Combat 4 is done and dusted. What a show. That's what, that's what Coastal Combat's all about. It's, it's about the show. It's about entertaining. The, uh, the public and um, did did we do that or what today like yeah what an ending though what an ending for them to come back and draw we were all kind of thinking it was an ending we were nervous that they were going to beat us yeah then Joe got a couple bites and they got a bit nervous they got nervous right at the end yeah when, when and, my um, ones were going you know it was great what a result fantastic what a result 7-4 Seven four, it finished. Seven four, yeah. You know, so that could have gone either way at the end. Absolutely, eleven fish in one night. Uh, yeah. It's hard, hard fishing with the wind, uh, the weed, the big sea. I mean, we were lucky it didn't rain. Yeah. Um, Conditions were hard. It was hard fishing. They tonight, were hard. You know, um, we couldn't really get too much footage of it. We couldn't get too close to the water because we had to be safe. Um, yeah. Obviously, it's not worth being like in danger, and just I am absolutely buzzing. Not because of the wind, but I just be, well, uh, yeah, the wind is great. Love you the know, wind, um, especially in those conditions. Especially in those conditions, especially being you. Um, <laughs> but uh, the, just the night, was, the atmosphere, the four of us just bouncing off each other. It, it was just great. Yeah, great. So a massive thank you to Fish Hunter. Uh, Reese and, uh, and Sam B, so thank you very much, guys. Okay, all right, awesome. And another big shout out to Ed from Ed's Bay. Thank you, Ed. Yeah, couldn't Ed's have Bates. done that without Ed. Obviously, you'll see earlier in the video that obviously went yeah. bay collecting with Ed. Yeah, and uh, awesome guy. So we'll put, um, we'll, put, we'll put his description. Yeah. In the description, we'll put his <laughs> his Facebook in the description. Yeah, drop his link. Um, drop his link in and. Um, if you're interested, just give him a, give him a message. Um, yeah. Apart from that, thank you all for watching. Indeed. What a great video. Absolutely. Tight lines, guys. Yep, tight lines. See you soon, and uh, we will see you on the next one, because this is definitely 
definitely not over. Lots more to come, guys. See you soon.